Whose boots are these here? Let's see what's going on here. Check I! What are you doing in here? Hi, boys! I thought I fired you! You did, but I come back! I catching fish! Look it! I already got a two trout limit! Looks like you're doing good. What are you even using? Funny you should ask, Mr. Bob. Remember old spoon you gave me last year? Yeah. Well, check I hit it with hammer and come up with this one. Hammer slender spoon. Available in four sizes and three colors. I got it hammer nickel, I got it hammer gold, and my favorite, hammer copper. Very good for trout. Okay, it's time for you to go now. You've got your limit. Oh, you fishing now? Yes. Okay, good luck to you. Thank you. I, I got limit, now I go. All right, Walt, finally got one hooked up? You got one hooked up, yeah. Feels like a pretty decent sized one. They gotta be 17 inches to keep out here on Green Lake. I think he's a keeper. Oh, he's not bad. There you go. There we go, yep. It's a 516 sounds uh, oh, slender spoon. The, the new uh, clown. The new clown color, yeah. So I figured it's kind of a, you know, happy trout kind of color. They are some good looking fish, they're strong fighters. I'll tell you what, you might want to keep this handy because one might be 18 inches and the next one's going to be 18 pounds. There you go. No. Or I might need that on you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, got one on, Walt. All righty. I don't know how big he is. I haven't seen him yet. All of a sudden, the screen lit up. There's a bunch of them that came in. Yeah, there is. He hit this one like a freight train. Yep. It's a little bigger than yours, Walt. That a boy. Hey. Look at that. Orange. Yep. I like orange for Lake Trout. Aren't you glad you had I had orange on? Yeah. There you go. You know, one of the things that's interesting, well, it's not interesting, but we got a clear water situation. So of all the spoon colors, nickel's probably the best color, isn't it there, Justin? Yeah, you know, they like that flash, um, crippled bait. A right. Of, a lot of Cisco, they're real shiny and silver. Right. I mean, it's just a matter of, you know, what's the color that turns them on and a little little chunk of meat on there, too. A lot of freshwater shrimp, so you can't go wrong with orange. Right, yep. right. You have to let that one go. I'll let oh, that guy go. Oh, man. <laughs> you know, as they come up, they got the bladder and all that stuff, so usually give them a little squeeze there to yeah, help them out there. If, but I see that one was releasing air, but yeah. you just put one th one finger just below their throat. You and hear that air come out? Yeah, and that, that doesn't hurt them, huh? No, it's actually better for them to get that air out. There we go. There you go. Oh, that's, yeah. how, that's how I feel in the morning. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You got to burp them a little bit. Yeah. There you go. Nice. Gone. Swam away just fine. Yeah. Yeah. Double. All right, here we go. Double. Woo! They just pulled in they like. Just came yeah. In. yeah. I can see you got one of them at 80 feet and the other one's at 120. Right. They're blowing bubbles. They're blowing bubbles. <laughs> They're burping. Yep. You know, usually when one guy gets hooked up, the other guy has to reel up. Well, that's, get out of the way. That's, that's what, what happened. Happening. I got up to get out of the way and he whammed it. You know. Yeah. Oh, he's a little guy. He's a tiny guy. Let's see what Walt's got. Probably some. Probably smaller. Oh. Yeah, that's not a flasher you, you see right there. We are actually fishing in 158 feet of water, and actually a flasher wouldn't work in this situation, right, Justin? No, you really got that many fish coming through at one time, and you want to see your lures, so you can really spread out the zoom with the LCD screen and uh, zoom in on the bottom 20 feet and you know spread out that whole 20 foot. There's Walt's lure. There's, There's one Bob's, right. Bob's lure right there. So you guys are fishing about 15 feet off the bottom. You get any aggressive ones, they come shooting up to your lures that are quite uh -huh. high. Like that. Like one this right one right there, there yeah, coming up the bottom. Up, he's coming up really hard. They love to chase. They love to swim. Sometimes by reeling up, taking it away from them, you can trigger a reaction. Like Look at him drop right back down. Right back down. That's trout fishing for you. Getting close. Getting close. Got the leader. Another lake trout. Oh. They seem to be all running about the same size so far. Yep. Lots of younger fish, but yeah, one, it's every, every, different every day. You know, you'll get a big one, you get a little one, you just don't know. You're only catching 18 inches, but be prepared for an 18 pounder. Now, we're using the uh, 516 slender spoon today. It's a little thicker, so it gets down there when you're fishing at 158 feet of water. You use anything lighter, and it's going to take a month of Sundays to get down there. On the Pro Series, we, we upgraded that VMC spark point hook. So you can see these things got some good gripping power. They don't want to let go. I'll tell you what, these trout are usually very hard to hook in 160 feet of water, and I'm impressed with these hooks. Trout have a pretty hard mouth. Very hard mouth, and it's a long ways away to set the hook. All right, well, let's let this little guy go. Yeah, he's probably only a 16. Yeah, he's too little. Grow up. The lure we've been using today is the 516 ounce slender spoon. 
It's the same profile as the 1 8 ounce size, which is the most popular size, only the blade is three times thicker, making it a little heavier so it'll fall quicker and, and down in the deeper water. Like today when we're fishing in 150 plus feet or when guys are pounding perch on the bottom or walleyes. These are available in the, the Classic Series, the Painted Pro Series, as well as the new Hammered Series spoons. Does it feel like a big one, Walt? Feels pretty good. Oh, look at him. Oh, yeah. a good one. Yeah. Not bad. Not, Not bad. bad. Not bad. There we go. Nice. Right. Oh. He's definitely in that legal range. Yeah. Yep. Again, perfect eating size fish. Yep. Again, we got that colorful nickelback fruity vegetables and... Yeah, you're getting a few more opportunities than the rest of us. Are. Right, exactly. <laughs> when are you going to share that good lure? <laughs> uh, well, this is this is the only one I got in this color. Well, that's a nice fish, Walt. Way to finish yep. up the day. Well, my my limit's filled up, so I'm done for the day. I guess we're I guess we're done for the day. It was a good day. Yeah. We had some bratwurst. We had some fun. We caught some fish. Hopefully, you guys learned something. This is Walt Matten along with Justin Cohn and Bob Gillespie from Custom Jigs and Spins Midwest Outdoors. We'll be right back. Hey, check out! Oh. Bye, Mr. Bob! Have a safe trip home! Okay.